All right, uh, currently driving a minivan. Driving home from work on Friday, and uh, well, the Jeep decided to. So yeah, that's the current situation. The red truck is also in the shop because it has its own things it needs. But um, other than that, we're with the minivan. We're going to meet Vinny. We're gonna hit back, maybe, arms, arm, just kidding. It might be arm day. I think it's arm day. It's arm day. Also, there's my dream Corvette in front of me. Well, one of my dream Corvettes. But yeah, I'm thinking it's it's just been a it's with the amount that I'm driving, the Jeep has just kind of gotten to be too much for me as far as like maintenance things go, as far as gas goes. And I just don't really have a use to have like I need something that's you know more dailyable than a uh, 25 year old Jeep. <laughs> I don't want to sell this thing. I'm almost to the gym. Uh, about to beat Vinny. Uh, no pre-workout session today. Because I don't have the Jeep. Because it's broken. I actually feel me putting in the new radiator. Because why not? It's supposed to come in tomorrow. Hopefully I can get it done by tomorrow night. If not Friday. Or Saturday. Um, but yeah. But why am I yawning, bro? I'm gonna go live. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah. Gotta go live with Vinny. Vinny Van, baby! Yeah! Radio, audio, baby. You wanna get big, there's one thing that you have to do. Bad women. Drive a minivan. Nah, just kidding. You gotta train like crazy! Woo! Oh. Look at that. Works his ass off all day. Still here putting in that work. Look at that weight go. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. All right, come on. Yep, yep. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Good, good, good. Come on, come on. Harsh. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Damn. You most definitely have mental problems. Guess what? What? I'm jacked. You are jacked.
Come on. Give me some cheat reps. Let's go. Yes, sir. scoop of protein about a cup of oats go ahead and cook the oats then put your protein in then you go and mix it up today I'm supposed to get the radio for the Jeep in so I'm gonna try to uh, get almost everything unbolted this morning before I go to class, depending on what time I finish breakfast. I'm gonna try and get most everything unbolted. So once I get home today, I can just pull the lines off, pull the radiator out, get the new one on, get that thing rolling again. So, yeah, there you go, right there. Perfectly mixed. Alright, here she sits. Yep. So here's the issue right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah. Right there, where the radiator mounts up correct so we here got home poured out coolant smoked 
Uh, don't know what that is, but I'm not. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and unbolt everything. Get it ready to get pulled out. It's a 13. Switch everything up. Thank you, Jeep, for putting holes that you can actually put this thing into. Try this. Maybe this will work. I hope so. I don't think it's going to work. This is like the worst locate bolt ever. Like a right up in there. This one, just right here. This one, nope. All right. Unfortunately, I have to use that, which is gonna suck. I'm gonna try this one more wrench. It's probably not the right size, but. Nope. Three eighths does not fit. Okay, well. This is going to be a pain in the butt, of course. So. Now it comes off the hand after it gets most of the way out. But now, 
but that is finally removed. This right here. There we go. There's a mask on my radiator. <laughs> Look at this. What in the world? Just chilling on my radiator. I hope there's nothing in there. I guess not. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's extremely dirty. The condenser's pretty dirty. I wonder if this one has a trans cooler. I believe it does, which would be this right here. Those are the lines for it. Look, there's another one down in there. Maybe it's time for a new radio. Oh, gosh. See, when I bought this thing, it had sat for a while. So, look. There's a big dirt dauber's nest down there. Obviously, I don't think they're alive anymore. If they're in there. But, yeah. So, there it is. Um... That's uh, crappy. Um, so yeah, next thing is gonna be pulling shroud off. But on these, you have to pull the fan off with the shroud. So we'll have to unbolt these and then pull the shroud off too, or pull the fan off with the shroud. And then, after that, disconnect those two. Um, pull hose up here off. I have to pull that, that one off. There's one at the bottom, and then there's another hose at the bottom. And after that, I think the radiator should pop out. Obviously, we'll pull that off too. But, yeah, after that. Should just pull right out. Should be getting a new one today. Drop it in, get this thing ready to go. Um, so, I think I have to continue this when I get home from class because we got to make it for class sometime. Alright, what's up? We're back. Um, got kind of delayed on the radiator install. My uh, radiator is supposed to come in on Thursday. So I did some work Thursday morning. I expected to be able to toss it in Thursday night after class, and that's just not the case because FedEx decided that they were going to tell me that it was gonna be delivered on Thursday and then delivered on Friday. So, um, we got it in on Friday. Of course, I had to work and I just decided to go to the gym that night just because I just want to go lift last night, bro. I didn't really, I didn't want to mess with this thing. And it's also taking a lot longer than I had expected, of course, because that's how working on vehicles that are 25 years old, that's how it goes. Just in case you want to buy something that's 25 years old, every single project you do will take you at least four or five hours. Doesn't matter what it is. Just, it's just how it is, bro. How it is. But anyways, we're on our way to Home Depot. I've got to go pick up some kind of little adapter fittings for the new one. So the new the new radiator has two 
upper and lower. It's got two put-ins for trans cooler lines. Um, and of course they're different than what's on there now. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to get some, uh, they're called AN fittings. Um, going to grab that, I'm gonna grab some rubber hose, grab a couple adapters, grab some coolant, and we're gonna head back home, get this thing put together, man. Hoping, I think, I think the hard part is over at this point. Oh my, I mean, pretty much everything's off. All there is to it is just uh, getting this thing put back together. All right, quick update. So, there's a new one. Got it in right now. Just hooked up this radiator hose. Hooked up the bottom train cooler line. And then got to hook this one up to here. So, my problem was that and my connection. It was that, and it was stuck. So, on top of being stuck, I couldn't twist it off. And then this one was just like this, so I had to, had to make that work. But we're gonna do the same thing right here. I have, where is it, this adapter screws on right here and then the hose right down there and then put everything back in. There it is. The shroud is going on later. But there we go. And forgot to film first startup of this thing yesterday just because it's a little busy just trying to get it done but she goes she still goes working good now um i had the water on the floor here i had my car parked like this so what ended up happening is water like went all the way to the back and i thought it got well it ended up like getting into the amp so my speakers started like making awful noises like really awful noises but you know i guess i put a new radiator in after it sat for about a week because i was waiting on my part and now the speakers work again, so <laughs> I can't complain. That works great for me. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really questioning if I want to sell it now, because now that I'm driving it again, man, I, I love this thing. This is a sweet car. I mean, it's got certain things about it that are not the greatest. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, it's a, it's a sweet car. I do want to like go off-roading with it still like I still want to do some of that stuff um, you know it's just gonna take some time take some money the biggest thing is it uses a lot of gas but I don't have an O2 sensor so and I've seen that that is on these at least it's something that pretty roughly affects your fuel mileage so uh, me and my brother were taking a uh, junkyard trip next next week. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna get a bunch of parts for this thing. Try and get an O2 sensor. Uh, can you drive, please? Gas pedal, use it. But I'm gonna try and get a uh, new O2 sensor, put it in this, and hopefully that's gonna help the fuel mileage a lot. Because if it does, and if I can be saving a lot more money on gas. That's gonna be huge, is to be able to, uh, like, I don't wanna sell this thing, but man, I'm spending 500 bucks a month on gas. It's tough. Like, it's it takes a lot. It's tough, but 
you know, then I think about it. I'm like, look, if I did, if I had the money, I would never sell this thing. I would just keep on building this thing because I love it. So I'm kind of like, I I don't want to make a stupid decision and end up like getting rid of this car and buying like a new Honda Civic, which they're nice. Don't get me wrong. I would drive a new Honda Civic, but as my only car, I don't know if I could do it. The fuel mileage would be great, but I don't know if I could have only one car in it, the uh, economy car. But uh, I'm going to the gym. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video, I think. Um, I'm going to be hitting legs tomorrow with Benny, probably, maybe. Maybe film that one. I haven't filmed like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let me know some other stuff you want to see. You know, if there's any cool Jeep mods you want to see, let me know. Thought about LS swapping it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It would be cool. But just talking about not having money, I don't have money for that at all. But yeah, appreciate the support. Uh, yeah, peace.